welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. These are some of the uh, most enjoyable videos for me where I kick you into the M1 finance opportunity and I show you different styles of investing along the passive investing uh, discipline as well as the dividend growth uh, investing discipline. And finally, the bond portfolio. In this video, I'm going to kick you in and I'm going to provide you some transparency on the Vanguard sector ETF portfolio. This is one that I built uh, a few years back and it has performed off the charts. I take you into the portfolio, show you some of the uh, features of M1 Finance, show you how M1 Finance has taken my dollars and allowed me access and the capacity that I have built. Uh, this portfolio is available in its entirety in the description below. I would invite you to kick over, uh, use the port portfolio at your discretion, either uh, uh, directly or indirectly for information. Uh, please be advised, I am affiliated with M1 Finance. I can receive compensation if you do click on the links for providing information such as this. So with that, we will kick in to the Vanguard Sector Specialty ETF portfolio. Please enjoy. I'd love to welcome everybody into the Vanguard Sector Specialty ETF portfolio. It's been quite a long time since I've covered this portfolio as appropriate. This is a long portfolio. This is one that I uh, fund uh, fairly frequently uh, with a smaller amount. So set up on a true dollar cost average schedule using the complements of M1 Finance. I'm able to buy and own each of the 11 sectors in the S&P 500. For you guys that are new to the channel and don't understand what a sector is, you will after this video, and you'll understand that there are 11 in the S&P 500, um, not to be ignored by the subsets and micro sectors within the S&P in each of their respective niches. Um, but there are 11 main sectors. Uh, I own each of the sectors using the Vanguard's product that allows me to buy the exclusive ETF, the exchange traded fund for each of the segments in the S&P 500. This allows me to allocate the specific percentage of dollars to each of the sectors to my liking. And this is how the portfolio is performed. If you noticed here uh, on the charts, this is what uh, everybody's been complaining about over the Last couple of years, the stock market has been pretty rough, but passive investing has held in quite nicely. Um, this is one where the capital inflow to the account continues. Uh, I'm staring down a major threshold in this uh, portfolio, and I just want to put this into context for you guys, as a lot of you guys may be looking to get involved with investing for the first time. You think about Getting involved back in 2019, this was right below the um, the pandemic, uh, and I have incurred the pandemic and more in this account, but I want you to pay particular attention to the performance, yes, um, which has done quite well. The effort that goes into this portfolio, which is zero, once it's established, I just fund it and... Um, I very rarely visit this portfolio. I may check in on it from time to time to monitor the progress, and I'm pleasantly surprised every time that I do, staring down that $25,000 threshold. And where I challenge a lot of investors to get up to that first $10,000 mark um, to start, um, this is staring down that mark in just over four years. I'm very, very proud of the progress in this. It fits a strategic passive niche in my total overall comprehensive portfolio, but I cannot scoff at the performance here. And uh, where there's a lot of pockets in the market that are down right now, I'm earning dividends to the tune of over $1,000. So I've made a milestone there of dividends rendered over the portfolio, as well as a nice uh, market gain or capital appreciation in the portfolio of $4,447 for a total aggregate gain of $5,500 in the portfolio. Okay. Um, am I getting rich overnight? No. Uh, do I profess that that is a, a strategy that the masses should deploy? Absolutely not. Um, I think the masses should adhere and at least take note of the strategy that I'm sharing uh, to you through this tutorial. Um, wealth is better made uh, over the long term and, and the vast majority of my wealth is devoted to that very craft. 
So if we scroll down here, over on the left-hand side, it actually shows the distribution in the portfolio. There should be 11 slices here. And the slices here denoted uh, at the bottom by each of the respective sectors. And I, I think last time I did this um, sector review, uh, there was a couple of these sectors that were down. And I'm seeing here that we're 100% in the green. So that that's a cool thing. That's a good feeling, a little bit of solace to understand that what we're doing is actually working. But you can kind of see here a quick tutorial on the top end being technology. We're up 950 bucks in this. So very cool. Technet, uh, the technology sector is uh, healthcare sectors next. Financials, consumer, discretionary, industrials, staples, real estate, utilities, energy communications, and then finally materials on the bottom. I've allocated 6% of the total overall uh, devoted capital to this portfolio at 6%. We're a little bit underweight here at 5.7. That could be a number of things there that could uh, affect that and, and, and render this a little bit underweight in materials. Now, keep in mind, M1 Finance will flow new capital to these underweighted sectors here. Okay, And I'm just here noticing that communications, that which has been down for a couple of years has just turned positive and I don't think I've ever been so happy to see four four dollars and 44 cents this was down massively uh, as the communication sector went through some restructuring uh, and it really got hit hard companies like Verizon AT&T really took it on the chin uh, and that sector really ha did digress and we're actually a little overweight based on that recovery in uh, telecom and it may be some of the inflows to telecom to actually go for a little bit more of a safety play. You can see here energy has just absolutely crushed or in line with energy, which is great. The utilities ETF, which actually is one of the few that I own in two different spots, uh, one strategically here in this portfolio and the other being in my Roth IRA. It's a wonderful um, augment as far as sectors to render that bottom line dividend income a little bit more robust and I do that in the capacity of the Roth IRA. The complementary to that is in the other Roth IRA and that is held in VNQ which is the real estate uh, uh, sector uh, ETF. Uh, we are a little underweight in real estate. Real estate's kind of come off a little bit. We're in line with staples. We're a little underweight with industrials. We are in line with consumer discretionary. We're a little underweight financials as appropriate. That's taken a real knock on the chin here as of late, a little underweight with healthcare, and finally a little bit overweight with technology, which is the largest percentage of holding in the portfolio uh, to date. So super glad to be rolling out this update to the Vanguard's portfolio. I have no doubt that we'll reach that 25,000 milestone but when it happens, I'm not here in the forecasting business. I'm just here to tell you that this is a plan that is a very, very low cost way of entering into the stock market. Um, I am in charge of this. I have no money manager looking at this. I am a self-directed investor. And this is the renderings from the Vanguard Sector Specialty ETF. And with that, guys, we'll kick you back and we'll conclude the video. And so we've come out of the sector ETF portfolio. Hope you've enjoyed the real takeaways from these videos is to understand that I'm staring down a $25,000 threshold in the portfolio. It's a big milestone for the little amount of work required. Once this is built, there's actually no requirement whatsoever. Um, just a maintenance requirement, I guess, by funding the account, keeping it happy. Um, keep it growing over time in the capacity that I've demonstrated to you. Um, these numbers are as they are. They are not fabricated. They are, they are uh, representative of when I film this video. And I hope you guys appreciated that level of transparency. If you enjoy content like this, I'd invite you to subscribe to the Independent Investor Channel. We do all kinds of cool stuff, tutorials, portfolio tutorials, live streaming on Friday. It's a really cool experience. And I put the power in the hands of individual investors looking to take control over their own financial future. Leave your comments at the bottom of the video, guys. Hit the thumbs up on the video to help support the channel, guys. Thank you so much. And good luck in your investment future.